Oh my god! <laughs> What is going on everybody? Gamers Crossing here with your weekly upload, your Wednesday upload. Now guys, huge news. Hold fast just dropped a huge update. Well, it's not huge, but it's huge to me um, because they have a new class and they are sappers, guys. It is this guy right here with the hammer. Um, now, just being in the military, I know what a sapper is or basically what they are. It's basically an engineer. They're in charge of like building and fortifying positions and also doing repairs, you know, on said buildings and fortifications and like also on like roads and stuff and that's exactly what they are here guys they're in charge of building defenses and artillery pieces and all that kind of stuff hence the uh, giant hammer right here and let's see here guys equip a hammer in hand and fortify your position with the new sapper class construct well-placed defenses earthworks and artillery to turn the tide in the battle in your favor carry explosives to breach the adversary strongholds repair damaged artillery pieces and more and there's also thumbnails to go along with it guys um but yeah, I'm going to take you guys through it and show you guys the basics of it. And then hopefully I get some gameplay that goes along with it. But it is very hard to get it because unlike most of them, you can only play as three of them on a team. And that's even harder to get than the uh, the Rifleman, which has at least six. But anyway, I'm going to try it for you guys. But before we do, guys, if you like this video, be sure to strike that like button and subscribe for all future videos and future content. If you guys have not done so already, be sure to hit the little bell button that is right beside the subscribe button so you guys notify me either myself or Armando uploads a new video, and let's just go ahead and jump into this video, guys, right now. Okay, guys, so after about, uh, you know, an hour and a half of playing, I was unable to uh, get to play as the uh, sapper in the public server, so I just went ahead and go went to a uh, server that had no people in it just to show you guys how to do this. So it's pretty simple, guys. So, Oh, excuse me. So you are the sapper right here. You can see in the top left hand corner you have the hammer. All you're going to do is right click and you're just going to use the scroll to go to whatever you want. So artillery, uh, defenses, whatever. So if you see in the middle here, guys, I know you can't see my finger pointing to it, but right here it says materials. That's how many materials your fa uh, fraction has. Uh, or your faction, excuse me, fraction. Um, so see what i'm talking about let's just go ahead and go to infantry stakes it's going to cost three materials that means and we're on british it's going to be 37 materials left so you can run with this guys you can move left you can move right the only thing you have to worry about is see how it's red right now you can't place that down so you know, it's green you can now place it down so all you're going to do is you're going to keep on uh, excuse me wait what um okay well it looks like I'm frozen in place, so that was a horrible <laughs> example. I'm sorry, guys. Here, I'm going to respawn, and uh, let's try that again. <laughs> all right, well, that was weird. So, uh, oh, here we go. Our stakes are right over here. So all you're going to do, guys, once they're placed down, is you're just going to go up to it, and you're just going to keep left-clicking until it's complete. So see that uh, wheel that's at the top of this right now? You're just going to keep banging on it until it goes green and that's it it's complete so let's say you wanted to put a uh a swivel gun back here so you can only have two of them see how it's two and it costs five materials the sticks or the stakes excuse me cost three so we're already at 37 so let's say you wanted to put this right here to cover the doorway this does take a little while but um and i've yet to play as a sapper in a public match i uh i was in a private match last time that's how i know how to do all this but all right so that's done and let's just put a uh let's put this right over here i don't know why but let's just do it okay don't question me there we go and that's done whoops all right see now it's all done now i'm gonna spawn as a uh as an enemy troop and i'm going to show you guys how the explosive barrel works all right you guys so i am now a french sapper and i'm over here where i built all my stuff you can see this right here right now let's go ahead and put down an explosive barrel see how much damage it does let's go ahead and put it right next to the uh the stakes oh someone just joined oh crap oh no 
Are you kidding? Oh my god, you son of a... I hate you so much. Alright guys, so let's just go ahead and do this quickly. I can see my barrel up here. I rejoined my game, and it looks like he didn't... Uh, uh, destroy anything, so let's just go ahead and hurry this up. And see how much damage this explosive barrel actually does. So let's go ahead and ignite that. Let's go ahead and stand back. Two, one. Awesome. What did that all destroy? That destroyed everything. Oh my gosh, that is very powerful. Wow, that got rid of the uh, swivel gun and all of it. That was really impressive. So, let's see. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? Oh yeah, so you can also, um, I'm pretty sure you can deconstruct stuff. So, if anything was left, I could have shown you that. But you could uh, go to deconstruct and you can destroy stuff or you can undig stuff. I mean, you can go through it. It's fairly simple. You just got to go around the squirrel wheel and pick out what you want to make or disassemble. And that's basically it. Also, guys, I forgot to mention what all comes with the sapper class. So you obviously have the hammer, right? You have a blunderbust or a shotgun, or whatever you want to call it, uh, just like a carpenter. You have your hands, and you also have a sword. Um, and if you guys notice, you can't scroll back into your hammer. Uh, this actually confused me for about five minutes, but it's actually just like the, uh, the musicians. All you have to do is tap Q to get your hammer back. And there you go. I'm going to carry this explosive barrel and put it in their spawn. See if anything happens. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was trying to go put that in their spawn. So as you guys can see, right down here, this is what I built. Uh, we were down already like 1,700 to like 300 when I started this. So that's why I'm bringing you guys in here right after that barrel explosion. But I built this wall and then also a little fortification right here with the swivel gun. Because so I thought they were going to be coming across the river more, but they were not. So let me go ahead and try this one more time. I'm going to try to bring an explosive barrel into their spawn and ignite it. Okay, well, maybe not. All right, you guys, that is going to conclude this episode of Hold Fast Nations at War. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to strike that like button and subscribe for all future videos and future content. If you guys have not done so already, be sure to also hit that little bell button that is right beside the subscribe button so you guys are notified when either myself or Armando uploads a new video. And that was just a quick rundown of how to use the new class, the Sapper, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also... A little gameplay to go along with it. Nothing too crazy. I tried to do something crazy and it resulted in my death. <laughs> but it's actually really hard to get that class because there's only, it's like the, uh, the rifleman. But even harder because instead of six, there's only three. And everybody wants to use him because uh, it's the new class. And uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll try to uh, get more footage of that for you guys here in the near future. But um, yeah, I think that does it. <laughs> I hope to see you guys in the next video, and until then, guys, like always, Semper Fi, and carry on. Peace.